we are going to talk about two very important taxes, British and American. English is a language that has many accents. So in that, we are going to learn differences in two types of accents. Because if you learn a particular accent and you don't know the differences and the different types of words in it, it's not that you're learning the accent. So let's quickly, without wasting any time, go to the first one, which is a transport vehicle truck. It is used to carry goods. So truck is known as truck in American English and it is known as lorry in British. Next is something that commonly is called cucumber or cucumber whereas in American we call it as zucchini in British we call it as courge. The next one is something that all children love. Can you guess it? Chocolate? Okay, close. It is candy. In America, we call it candy. In British, however, we call it sweets. Now, have you ever wondered what about a station? No, no, no. Not a train station or airport. Uh, not a train station. A uh, gas station or a petrol station is used to refill our tanks of petrol or diesel when the car needs to run and it needs these types of fuels. So in America we call it gas station, in British we call it petrol station. The next one is a dustbin or a trash can. In America, we call it trash can. In British, we call it a dust bin. The next and the most very beautiful thing is that something that is a type of biscuit, a round type of biscuit. In America, we call it a cookie, but it is called a biscuit itself in British. So these are cookies are something that I love really. Do you like cookies? Type it in the comment section. The next thing that is again coming to food, French fries. Yes, it is something that is given mostly in burger, uh, with burgers and it is found in our favorite McDonald's. So let's go on with uh, French fries, but what is it called in British? In America, it's French fries itself, but of course in British, it is something different. You know what it is? I'll tell you. It is, yes, it is chips. Chips, on the other hand, in America, is something that is very thin. It's a thin layer of potatoes, deeply fried for us to chew upon, which is also very crispy. French fries, on the other hand, for, sorry, uh, chips, on the other hand, for British shoes, is called crisps. 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 Okay. Next one is eggplant. Eggplant is a type in um, common, it is called a purple egg. It's a type of a purple egg and it looks like a purple egg. So in America, it is called egg. Plant. However, in British, it is not called a plant, it is called aubergine. Aubergine is a pretty word, but American word eggplant has more logic. The next one is something that we have in our first aid kit for any emergency. For example, if you have a fracture, you can put the first aid kit and that is which you wrap around. What is that called? Yes, in American, it's called Band-Aid. In British, it is not called Band-Aid. It is called, no, it is called Plaster. Plaster. Plaster is a very, very nice object for us to wrap upon and it also has fashion for us. 
now that we have talked about food we all know that if you buy a food you need to pay upon it also right so what is that thing called it is called a bill in american and note in british yes you heard that right note next one is is something that i like and it's a type of a healthy food and it's very sweet food so it is called sweet corn in american it is called sweet corn and in british we call it maize maize now we are going to talk about something that we use at the end of sentence a small type of dot at the end of the sentence can you tell me what it is in american we call it a period in british it is called as full stop yes a full stop the next one is something that we all need when it's winter and chilling freezing bone chilling when there are situations like that if you don't wear a jacket we can use a sweater yes a sweater is very important and we call it a sweater in american but in british we call it a jumper a jumper which is which sounds pretty cool and pretty fun isn't it nowadays ai have been developing such beautiful technologies right but there is one thing that is very nice it is a phone it is a cell phone or a mobile phone let me tell you that in american it is called a cell phone in british it is called mobile phone so i hope you learned the differences in american versus british and that's not it there are so many different types of words that i'll be keep that i'll keep giving you and your let's develop the accent and learn it properly so that we can speak it very fluently and sound like a true american or british native speaker so thank you for listening bye